Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting a new series between Gus Gus and Battle Hunt for the Revolt Royale. And this is on the map Manchuria. We have here on the orange color Gus Gus with the Ottomans on this southern side of the map. We also on the color blue Battle Hunt um, playing on the color blue as the Dutch. Is his explorer give penalty to Turkey? It must have been some football thing. Um, this map we already seen that there is a TP available for you to make, uh, and then we're gonna have a 15 minutes treaty, so he's not gonna be able to do the second one over there. Uh, we do have a Tangri shrine. Sorry, this is the Tangri, yeah, it's Tangri shrine. Um, natives here. And on this other side, it's both are Tengris on this one. We have three whales uh, and a couple of fish on the pond. You have to, you can create docks anywhere. So there's an open two and a half map, 15 minutes 3D. Revolt Royale boys. So there we go. 70 wood collected here for Baton Hunt. Uh, let me see if he has chosen his deck. Not just yet. Let's then have a look. We have the revolt deck for the Ottomans. Uh, we do have the mosque construction and the palace intrigue, very common cards. Also has engineering school, that might be an interesting card if you want to actually slightly boost your factory progressions, productions of great bombards. And the Spahi, four Spahi, no six Spahi on H4, which is interesting. But any other the cards that you actually need to age up and Okay, your revolt's done. That's 75 food here. We might be contested here by Battle Hunt. Because Gus gets uh, is aware of this now. And actually, Battle has a nice skin for the Dutch. Yeah, unfortunately, he walked a little bit back and forth. Didn't manage to get Gus Gus takes it home. Now he has the 800 food with that treasure. And he aging up with the quarter master where on let's see what the dutch is up to the dutch no that's the dutch deck you have your banks your bank card you got a fort 17 rooters and a battleship and i think the the biggest difference here would be after your, your revolt the dutch will have some of the economy with the banks, whereas the Ottomans, if it doesn't go for water, he will have no economy after this. So it's pretty much going to be an all-in strategy. He will still have the, let's say, if you go for something like Egypt or or Hungary, you're still going to be able to have the bombards coming through. the The only economy you're going to have is going to be coming from your from your factories, or maybe possibly trade post, uh, in case you upgrades, then manage to take that in before the revolt. Uh, well, let's see. Okay, so Mark cows being picked out here by by Batu. So that's his first banks in production back to coins so he can make more villagers no market and he has three cows right now because oh, goose is already consuming a cow here um not a cow what is that zero what's zero so that's an interesting one is that a zero ah it is I never actually read his animal's name out loud like this. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I never, I never knew they called Sero. Let's see this Turkish explorer. Can we get a closer look? Hmm. 
Hmm. So Gus Gus also getting a coin treasure for himself. So equalizing the fields. We still have two cows here undiscovered. Another cow here and another cow over there. And uh, even another one over here. It'd be quite important this cows that you gather possibly like two times, three times faster when you gather them. So here comes the fourth bank in production. He sends the bank card. So he already sent the 700 wood to construct all these banks. And he has already another shipment. He's going for the church card for maybe his seventh bank. Are. Nice to see a cow here. There's another one here. What is this is cow? He just passed through that, but he didn't get it because he was going for that treasure. He accidentally just he got this cow by accident, but I still have not seen that yet. Goose Goose going for the second town center here. He did not send capitalism, but he went for 700 wood, 700 coin. Already gathered all the wood and the coin. And he's in H3 already. Um, he's going for another town center, building with the villagers. Sending out the church card. So we are going to see maybe some Nizams and Spahi. And the great bombards from the church upgrades. Um, here we have already done the, the first upgrade for the... For the Productions of villagers. He's on 17 villagers right now. And no water gameplay. Hey, Peekaboo. How's it going, brother? Thanks for the sub. Help supporting free food party. And the town set is up. And these villagers, actually, they build town sets is much, much slower. So it would be beneficial for his explorer to actually come and help these villagers to actually build this town center because that was on the previous patch. That was a very long, 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 long time ago. The villagers, they build town centers much, much slower for the Ottomans. So you do have to use the explorer as much as you can. And he's sacrificing like four villagers and look how he slowed town center is being built and goes goes snapping the the cows from battle didn't pay attention to that still there's a cow over there like there's always a cow on this corner and a cow on this corner over here so onto this map is always something you want to look out for the town center is still not built like you're taking so long so much time spent with four villagers onto this town center actually could have been built quite fast with the explorer for free uh, it was a little bit of a misplay there. Gonna slow him down a couple seconds. And any second does count in this game. There's more resources you could have been spending on something else. Uh, he's gonna be sending now. The Moss construction is not gonna go for the thousand coins. So we can go to H4 very quickly. Um, decides to go for the coins instead then. Let's just send that later. You can also get your mercantilism on the church. So you can actually get your cards in. But I assume you want to go to H4 as soon as possible. Um, let's see what Batu is up to. Aging up with the Admiral of the Ocean Sea. And he's going to get a Caravel. And possibly 300 wood. That's it. Yeah. So he has already sent the church card with the... Coffee beans upgrade for the banks, but he's still on seven banks, but he can create construct two more. He's going to have enough wood now to get his sixth bank. It's still no market upgrades, only using the market for, for trades. And Goose Goose is adventuring here into the Dutch side of the map. 23 villagers, Ottomans on 27. So it's still quite slow um, for the villagers because he has no water. I'm gonna grab 30 coin here. If he, if he sees it, decides to ignore the treasure. What's the, what do you get on the Tengri Shrine here? We have 
Miss, the local dairy farmers provide you with one semi fat and yak for every three minutes of the game length. It doesn't sound very appealing for a revolt tournament. All cavalry shock infantry train faster. This is okay, I guess. And mounted units and pets move and attack faster. Mounted units, would that actually mean that? Cav would count as a mounted unit, or would be those that can be dismounted as well? That I do not know. So all this wording is going to be really, really hard to know. That's one of the problems is when you have ambiguity and you don't know what these guys are talking about. What's the... F uh, uh, yeah, it says there, mounted unit, but then just down below it says cavalry adds 0 0.5 speed. So it is all the cavalry. I just not say cavalry attack and movement speed increase it's just so much easier um small details like this that sometimes it makes it harder to understand what they're saying uh the tycoon aging up with i think the dutch actually gets five villagers in 500 coin instead of the typical thousand coin the other civilizations age up with hmm what is that Point though. Is it instantly deposited into his bank? Or he was gathering something on the floor. I wonder if it's that was a small delay for me onto this replay. That was the stable. Here's the factory. Um probably that was a delay for me, or maybe that was Gus Gus I just aged up and I I missed that. Probably was. Yeah, probably it was. And look at this scout taking the vision. Knowing what Goose Goose is doing all throughout this game, that's really gonna help battle because I think in this game you really want to know what your revolt is opponent, your opponent uh, is gonna revolt into, so you can actually counter the units. Uh, but that is a trick. He can put his villagers inside and actually kill this scout. There we go. He started doing that. I think that's that's very good. Uh, you don't want to let your opponent see what you're doing. There we go, he's going down. Bye bye, scout. So if you want to put a scout, you have to put it outside the town center range. So you would put a scout something like over here. So you can still see what this is doing, but you wouldn't actually be sniped by the town center or any outpost. And there we go, there's two stables being produced. I think we're going to see some hungry revolt. So two factories on the field, they are onto coin. We might be we already sent mercantilism getting also cavalry combat. Gus Gus prepared for this. He wants to do cav. However, he saw that the cav uh was had some stables for the Ottomans and battle was already ready for this with two stables of his own. Uh with the caracol coming through. Now we're gonna have some very beefy rooters here. It still has the upgrade that they're very costly. We have one minute to the game starts. What is this gonna do? What's gonna be the revolt for the Dutch? So Goose Goose and then cover combat. Now the factories upgraded already the You know it'll be interesting to see this card here. Uh it says Great Bombards build time 20% faster production of Great Bombards. That would be something. Bats gonna revolt into the USA and make all the rulers into guard carabines. So he does not need to upgrade them. That makes sense. Thanks for that, Code Fender. Here comes the fort. So we are revolted into. USA. And now he's sending villagers straight away. The European immigrants is going to send him, I don't know, maybe six villagers. And he will be able to start gathering more food. You're going to have all the economy from the banks still. And he also had the factories on food right now. He can make uh, more revolutionaries with food. The villagers will cost him. Um, 
That's not the same as citizenship, is it? Ships a large group of European villages units and slightly increase their XP, XP trickle, but it's not the same as a citizenship where you ship six citizens and enable the, the city towns uh, to make villages in the town center. That's the difference right there. So he gets four settler wagons and, um, and six merchants. So it's a great shipment, um, but he can still not make more villagers. That's the problem with that. Uh, but here we go. We have a revolt here from, from Goose Goose. And he went from Colombia. And he gets cavalry archers. And what are these babies? The Dobrants. I have not seen this yet. I assume they are skirmishers. They have infantry. They have 230 HP. That's quite a lot for a revolutionary. They're quite strong. They have 24 damage. Uh, multipliers. I assume it's going to be standard musketeer multipliers. And you have a, a fight of goons here. However, the problem with this is this is also revolutionaries. I think they can actually make some uh, skirmishes as well for battle. And then you're going to have a skirm goon fight into a revolt. But this is going to be musketeers sort of goon instead. There's a lot of carabine here for battle hunt. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of units. There we go. Battle is now going for citizenship after sending the the Brazil immigrants, Irish immigrants. This is actually European immigrants. Third time is the charm. It's Romanians. Did I say Colombia? Probably said Colombia. So this is Dora Bent. Uh The factories are making more bombards. You see that the com the uh, goods goods economy is completely in a hot. There's no more economy coming through. This is pretty much all in, and he's already behind the USA. That's the problem. And he hasn't done the church stuff, has he? He has. I did not see the Spahi, though. He's getting outposts. Here comes more bombards. He needs to use the bombards to the maximum use here. And not sacrifice these units. He can also get citizenship. He's getting no shipments whatsoever. Bato already has another shipment after sending the citizenship. And now he can make villages on his town center. One second, let's just get a close look here into this fight. Look at that. They cost coin though, which is pretty nice for the Dutch. You'll be able to remess with these here. He's making more carbine. These guys are beefy, man. They have 230 HP, but they have only range resist, melee resist. So the carbine will be able to take them down slowly. And the revolutionary is going to go for the factories. That's going to really hurt Gus Gus. And there's nothing more Gus Gus can do with Romania. There is no economy. It was all in. And Gus Gus calls it. And Batohan takes the first win. And, and, and he was already like booming back on. Like, it's already on 13 villagers. Look at the resources he already has. He was getting shipment back to forth to factories and seven banks. So, yeah. Come, ladies and gentlemen, to another cast series between Goose Goose and Batuhan. Here we have on the left side of the map playing as the Mexicans on the color red Goose Goose BR with the Angry Clan. And here we have Batuhan on this other side of the map playing under color blue as the Ottomans himself um, on the M Falker Clan. And here we go, we got the Windmill down the field for both of these players that gives them one foot per second this is map that has very uh small territory to build buildings so you got to be very careful where you're going to place your foundations uh we do have other windmills on the map as well this map has been played already we know that this it has this big peninsula right in the middle there's a trade line as well down all the way through here they do have a cross 
uh, zigzag cross form here. So, so the trade route goes that way. So if you upgrade this route, you got to make sure you get them in a zigzag form. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get all the resources from your upgrades from the trade route. And you have here the House of Wedding natives. You might have another different one here, which is the Hansburg. Probably the same here. That's Hansburg again, and you might have House of Wedding. So a very fair map. However, we do have this uh, Poseidon staff right on the middle. This big entrance of water that your base becomes very vulnerable as well. There are four whales on the map and plants of fish in the sea. And we do have Ottomans here for Batu. Starting up with the schooners, opening up with the dock. There is no sublime port on his deck. That's also rendering plants. Improving the warships. No church card. No church construction. Barbary force. Barbary. Uh, Barbary Corsair force. Ships 15 Barbaries by two, for 2000 coin. He has the Ascaris. Uh, that sends him 11 Ascaris. The heavy infantry. Stronger units that cost coin but expensive and require more population space. So that would be 22 pops. So there would be two pop each. Nothing else super extraordinary. He does, he does have the mox construction and the palace intrigue in, in case he goes. You still want to go for the, the church cards. Interesting. And here is the Ottoman Explorer. Where is my penalty, Netherlands? He wants his penalty. And let's see what Mexican Pedro Castillo aging up with the Mijo, Mi, Mikoacan, Mikoacan and uh, sending the cathedral in age one. And I already sent the, how I'll, I'll say this card, Alondica de, Granit, de Granaditas. Which is an Hacienda in two villagers. And the villagers take a lot of space in the cathedral as well. Uh, you cannot do many Haciendas as well. That's the one thing with Mexico on this kind of map. You, you, you might be able to put another Hacienda here, but then you still might need houses. You might need stables. And you're going to have to sort of start constructing things straight away after the finish of the revolt. In the forward of your base, if you want to do barracks like that. So be quite dangerous. I think actually dropping docks for Mexico might be a good thing since we have no much space. There we go. We got a military wagon for the Mexicans. And he's sending, he's making cows. Interesting. He's going for the cows. Get the cantina. Uh, give me one second. Let me see something. Okay. Let's see. So you're getting gill nets as well. Single dock though. Up the Naturally, it's going to be two villages and two cows. Interesting age up here. Not going for wood, even though he has... He has a dock. And he's dropping a lot, a lot of wood with no marked ups. So they gather 0 0.5 wood per second. It's the slowest resources to gather in this game. So having no market upgrades kind of hurts. And over a single dock as well. I think he might have an idea of how many boats he want to go for. Have the extra economy after he revolts. And he's sending five wheels behind that. Here's his church. He has the, the one that costs 50 to make them produce faster. Now this is the... Second one, I think. I think it, I remember it was 50 and this. They've changed it to 75. Was it nerfed? Maybe not, that might be the second upgrade. So you are going for a dock here somewhere. Was it Goose Goose building that? I'm not sure. Um, Mexico is still producing cows. He already has three cows in the field. So, oh, did he went for four views, five views? But he's not. Yeah, he's making villages as well. He 
this one 23 villagers compared to the 30 contained the boats for for the auto but you have one treasure here down 50 wood here another 45 wood treasure here and that's it in this map let's see what they can see there we go not much Burgos Goose hasn't explored the map just much and he's going for the meal here the windmill but to see is that I don't think it will matter I don't think you can contest this as long as Goose Goose is in range Bato's actually sending his boats across the map to the other side. This is not really allowed. You're supposed to keep your boats on your side, by the way. Uh, but Gusgo's not, not even on the water. But it's something to consider. He's going for that whale in there. I'm just not going to say anything, but otherwise, if I say, they will know that he's on the water. Um, I'm not going to give up any details, but this is a... I don't think... I don't know. I'm not sure. I think you should keep your boats on your side. He's going for the... Going... All the boats on coin, though. Very, very funny. If Gugus was on water, I would have tell him to move this away. But since he's not on water... I think that's okay because he's going for the resources that are available that's only the whales and they are infinite anyway so they're never gonna expire but that's not a problem i think in my view so gugus got that, that meal over there that could be contested by batu if he sees it he does sees it Goose Goose wants the other meal as well. So he's aging up now with the Admiral of the Ocean Sea. So he's going to be able to put some pressure on the water at some point. Sorry, that's that's Battle's deck. Okay, that Battle to defend his water then. We have the American... Central America here. Revolt for... The Mexicans and he's already revolting back to Mexico. Uh, has he sent anything over here? I can't really tell. This card sometimes because he's over pop, they get. Um, he could have sent this one that would have given him um, six fishing boats. And goes good, man. Look at this. He's, he has four windmills right now. That's four foot per second. How much that would be? How much villagers gather food per second? So you can see here, they, these guys gather one foot per second. So this is pretty much almost like four villagers. Four extra villagers that he managed to get with the mills. And Basto finally going to contest the one. Up north here. Okay, so aging up with the Grand Vizier. The Grand Vizier is the spy age up. He also sent rendering plants already. The five bills. He's on 17 boats. Funny that he's actually going for coin. Um, he's gonna need more food as well. There's another hunt over here. And the berry bush. Here's the market. He got hunting dogs. He might have enough resources to age up. Maybe he's trying to use the bulls to gather the coin so he can get the mercantilism. That's going to give him 2,000 experience to your inventory. So you'll be able to send more cards. Uh, Goose Goose sending the second factory now. Got another shipment. What he's going to go for? Is he going to go for... 
Here's the dog. The age up come up for for battle. Here's the three spahi. Here comes mercantilism. Sending all the factories, the church cards. Uh goes goes upgrading the factories for the heavies. Upgrading for wood and food as well. Quite a lot of investments in the factories. We have seven cows over there. They actually can produce villages right now. I wonder if you... I think you, after you revolt, this option might be gone. So we have a dock here. I think the idea is just to make, uh, make frigates, make ironclads. You can already make ironclads in H4. Us Mexicans. That's pretty intense. And he's going for the ship Hotwisers. That's going to be the upgrade probably for... I don't know what that does. If anybody knows that in chat, let me know. He sent two town centers. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Why do you need so many town centers? Let's see later. Batu, on the other hand, sending the second factory coming through. Um, Plenty of resources to revolt already. 19 boats still. No more boats. He might need another house though. Do we have an explorer here from Batu? Look at this sneaky explorer. Taking visibility of what Couscous is doing. If he wants to actually to kill this explorer, he will have to use his villagers and aggro them in the town center to actually stop all this scouting uh here we go the town centers a couple of houses plenty of resources the factories are on wood right now gathering resources for the revolt that's one minute and 30 seconds to go oh look at this it's sending now the caronade and the uh, ranged cavalry corral from the arsenal, this must be somewhere. There it is. So we might be seeing some cavalry. Uh, there's no military buildings just yet, apart from the cantina, but he could also be making some of these babies over here. We do have the Crotero. I don't know if he has sent Crotero card. I don't think he has. There's no Crotero cards. Uh, there's a lot of upgrade saloons, containers, which have Ronings and Outlaw unit cost less pop. That could be an interesting card to send. There we go. He's revolting. He's going for California. Batu. 30 seconds to go. He's on five bombards. Three Sipahi. He already sent six Sipahi as well. Making more the spy from the church upgrades the Kupikulu corpse. That's six of them. And then the Nizam, the new order infantry coming through. Uh, there we go. Finally, some barracks. I think you can make more uh, Nizam as soon as they come through. There we go. You can make more Nizam. There are a limited amount of Nizams you can make, but you can only make 20 of them. There we go. There we vote has started the game has started and the explorer just dies here and we have quite a lot of units here for californians the californios that's 64 californios here the factories are making heavies there is no more economy uh coming through for california okay there's some food coming through he also has the income from the windmills, but that's it. And he gets a third factory. Wow. That's sick. California rubber barons. A factory wagon increased the build limit for factories. Three factories for California. There's a lot of Californians here and they're all making bombards. Does he have any bomb? Uh, he can send ironclads. He can send a single ironclad. 
You can also send San Francisco Bay two sloops. So they're not great. Sloops are okay. They're not great. And uh, there's a lot of... Um, the Spahi going to be able to... The Californians be able to counter the Spahi. But uh, can the, the heavies actually deal with the Bombards? They're quite closely together as well. The Bombards are coming through. And it's going for... Oh, that's a big volley into this. This guy's Californians have 200 HP. The, the heavy is going to be able to hit the infantry. They, I think they snare as well. You can see that they're getting snared by the lasso. The explorer is taking a lot of the damage here for the bombards. So many bombards coming from Batuhan. But the Spahi is going gonna, gonna to melt on this. Goose Goose needs very, very quickly. I think he needs coverings, man. How he's going to deal with this? And Batuhan is making more... More Nizams. He has a shipment. He can send... Um, four Fusiliers. Extra resistance and siege. And look at this big remass from... From Ghost Goose here as well. Still deciding what he's going to do. There's two more heavies. So many bombards. It's gonna get snared. Oh my god, they're gonna have a clash here. Goose Goose sees it, goes back. And the California coming through to take down the bombard. And look, they're actually gonna be able to take a bombard here. Uh takes a heavy from Goose Goose as well. I think he needs to sacrifice. I don't know sure. This one's actually going to melee mode. Against the California. The California has 20 range resists. Which it does help. Here comes the Mameluk. Let's see how fast this California take a Mameluk. Look at that. That's a lot of damage. More bomb more heavies coming here for, for him. He's sending these loops. That's gonna be able to maybe to try to take down the water. Uh I don't know if I can sneeze. Uh, I can't really stop this break. I removed these ads. I don't know why it's, this is happening again. Let me know if you guys get an ad. I can stop the stream, by the way. Until the ads come back. Uh, so he can make California through that. Uh, this is This is a tournament. We'll go. The problem with the economy from Goose Goose, he has the three factors, but they are doing heavies and uh, he can't deal with the bombards and he doesn't have income anymore. Here we go. The loops are there. They're quite cute. He has a lot of improvements as well for these guys. Um... Battle has one single caravel here with the C, the galley. Here, the first factor is down. Oh, that was a little bit of a dodge there on the bombards, but they managed to take the other. And it's looking pretty good now for Battle because he's keeps uh, amounting to more Mamelukes. Um, standing a frigate now. That's going to be huge as well. But he's making a frigate. And more and more bombards coming through. More Nizams. Fusiliers. Yep. And that's it. Goose Goose calls it. But it takes it home. That's the second win. That's the series. We're now going to go for the third match. And Batuhan advances into the next round. Congratulations.